Uh, let's begin. Hello, everyone. Welcome to listen to my talk. I'm Razri Wang, a web developer from Shenzhen, China, graduated from Shenzhen University. And the talk uh, I'm going to present is called The Factor Play Game of Right the Life Utilize JSS Graph the React Way. So let's kick off. The agenda of my talk is divided into four parts. First, the overview of Plagan of Life the Life, and then architecture migration. Third, the factor the uses of JSS graph. And finally, implementation to decode and encode IOE, a, a, a file format to the CL Gain of Life patterns. So the first one. The overview of play game of life dot life. And, and this is the screenshot of the website. And as you can see, the user interface is the same as it was two years ago when I first presented my talk at JSS Graph Conference. Uh, so now let's experience it directly. And, and when you first visit this website, by default, it's a, a stick figure. And we set it and choose the famous ghost provider down pattern. Start, change the rate to fast. And well, done. And pause it. And uh, you can explore the pattern to a local file. And let me reset it to a vote and import the file. And now it is back and start again. All right. Uh, this is the main functionality of this website. Let's, uh, let's move back to the slide. And the next one, and uh, the backbone of this website is uh, divided into two parts, the, U, uh, the logic part and the UI part. And for the logic part, the user the select patterns or the create directly at the board. So we get the initial cell matrix. So when uh, he hit start, the start button, we copied the initial dance matrix to a chrome dance matrix. And then for each live cell at the chrome dance matrix, we project it to a sparse matrix. And for each one, we extend its surrounding neighbors, eight neighbors. And so that we get an extended sparse matrix. Uh, and for each one at the extended sparse matrix, we perform calculation by comparison it with the initial dense matrix to get the number of its life labels. So as to determine the next state of the current cell. And then the uh, by doing so, we got the updated Chrome dense matrix and update it back to the initial dense matrix, uh, semantically the next generation dense matrix, and then copy it again and perform the other operation repeatedly as a loop. And during the loop, we will plot the cell matrix to our JSS graph matrix board, as you have, uh, you can see the before and update the cell statistic information. And also the user can uh, interrupt the loop operation, reset it or pause it. All right, this is the background of it. And then comes to the architecture migration. And two years ago, it uh, uh, is uh, is two, uh, two sides, the front end side and the back end side. And for, for the front end side, I use one 
single the EGS template file to provide the makeup and use bootstrap to beautify it. jQuery to the control some states and also support bootstrap. And the essential one, JSS graph as GUI to support the Gainerfried algorithm and implementation. As for the backend side, uh, it was written in Node.js and I choose the, the EJS, the framework ExpressJS to provide several the rest of the APIs and use Heroku to host the front end code and also the API code. And finally, the MongoDB Atlas to provide a pattern store for the RESTful API. And right now, uh, is um, the front end is powered by the React. Uh, uh, yes, I use uh, React uh, TypeScript. And uh, to retain the send user interface, so I used React Bootstrap. And for global state management, uh, uh, X state is adopted. Uh, for example, the sales statistics information uh, is, con uh, is controlled by it. And still the essential one, JSS graph as CUI to support uh, the implementation. And the backend side, it, it is still written in Node.js, but I tend to use AWS AN to the provide the, the rest for APIs. And under the hood is AWS Lambda function. And I use AWS Amplify to host the front end code. And, uh, and as usual, in MongoDB address to provide pattern store for the rest for API. All right. That's high level uh, explanation. And here comes to the outcome. Uh, it, it's, is uh, a kind of awkward for me to provide this. <laughs> Here is the page speed, the Google page speed report of the website <laughs> before and after refactoring. And uh, previously, uh, it was 90 for the desktop side. And after refactoring, it reached 95. And for the mobile side, uh, it changed from 55 to 65 past. But I can, uh, I can promise that uh, the whole developer experience is uh, really a boost because I can, I, I usually act TypeScript to spread the initial EJS template file into multiple components. So that will really be more, much easier to maintain. And as specifically, let us look into the uses of JSS graph after refactoring. Uh, previously, I, I wrote the JSS graph the sequential way. So as you can see, it's one single uh, JS file, declare some the global the variable, matrix, copy matrix, sparse matrix, extended sparse matrix, and by the, our JSS graph uh, logic uh, operations to some DOM element, global DOM element, so that the user can uh, perform the start a reset post later on. And this is how it, it is included uh, in, the, in the EJS file as a split tag. Uh, and after refactoring, I wrap the whole implementation into a, a gain of right class and still the static variables are almost the same. Matrix, copy matrix, the bus matrix, standard bus matrix. And then import this class in, into uh, the React functional component. Uh, this functional component declares uh, the JX feed box div element. And uh, our class is used within the, uh, the use effect hook of React. And as you can see, the use effect hook accepts two parameters. 
The first one is a callback function, and the second one is, is dependency. And when the dependency is an array with an empty string, the callback function will be called only once after the initial DOM rendering. So that we instantiate our Gainerfly class. And, uh, and our JSS graph uh, logic inside the class can catch the, the diff element and perform its, uh, its, its, its operations. So we need the matrix, we need the board, and Easter egg, Easter egg, and, uh, and then the, the stick figure. And besides router wrapper and scroll handler, uh, those two methods which I borrowed from Ms. Mor uh, Mr. Morris' uh, website, uh, my appreciation. And, uh, and then set the, uh, the gain of right instance to a uh, uh, react variable for later use. Uh, for example, the user start, uh, start a button and then uh, reset or pause. So the react can handle that. Um, all right, then uh, comes to the final part, a, a new feature of uh, the whole uh, the website as you have just watched just now. IOE, the full name of IOE is called Run Rans Encoded. It's a file format to the, uh, store Gainerfly patterns and it ends with a .ioe file extension according to live wiki and this uh, at the top um, left is a simple example of ioe mm. and uh, there are two lines uh, my three lines the first one is a comment it starts with a uh, sharp c and the second one is uh, the meter information of the pattern x equals three and y equals three uh, means that this is a uh, three by three matrix, and loo equals b three slash s two three uh, represents that this is a John Conway scan of life pattern. There are other cell auto cell machine pattern available. So this uh, and then at the third line is the most important one, the pattern uh, information. Here B represents that, and O represents arrive. And the dollar side means a new line. And two means how many at the end of two, the number means how many character B or character O would be uh, following. And, and the final the exclamation mark means the end of the pattern. So uh, after understanding the IOE file, we pass it to a sparse matrix uh, according to our need, and then plot the sparse matrix to our JSS graph matrix plot. Uh, this is the decoding the process. As for the encoding process, uh, it's the reverse logic. Right, now let's look at some codes. Uh, sorry for uh, being kind of frightening. Let's look at it a step by step. So at the top right, uh, here uh, we have the IOE string. After the uh, reading the file, we have this IOE string. And we need to get rid of the final exclamation mark. And, and then for each string between the dollar sign, we need to the, uh, change it to its semantic way. So B old will still be the same B old, and two B old uh, will be changed from the, into the BB old, and three old is O old. And then we need to split the dollar sign. Uh, and turn it into a, an array with three elements. Then we need to the, uh, replace the letter O with ones and B with zeros. 
uh, in other words, arrive is one and that is zero, replace it. And uh, we get this one. Mm, then for each element within the array, we change it, we split it to a sub array, so a matrix array. And, and, and then we need to fill zeros to those sub array that isn't the size as other as the rest, uh, because this is a three by three matrix array according to the IOE file. So we the fill zero to the first sub array. And then uh, we need to convert the type of string to the, the type of number. So get a new the matrix array full of number. And to adopt this to our JSS graph matrix board, uh, we need to the, uh, 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 change it to a sparse matrix to place it, it uh, exactly at the middle of our JSS graph matrix board. Uh, so these operations, uh, the result is this. And uh, it's, uh, it's a sparse matrix. Uh, have one, two, three, four, five, five elements, uh, five sub array that is uh, our need. So we plot this one to the 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 the, the JSS graph matrix board as final result, and done. Well done. And for the encoding process, actually, it's just the reverse logic. Uh, uh, some edge case ha ha has to uh, ha have to be considered, but uh, mainly the reverse logic for those who are interested. And you are welcome to the refer to the link below. All right. Uh, I think that's quite short. <laughs> Thanks for your listening. This is the end of my presentation. <laughs>